In this video, let's learn and understand about polymorphic malware. But before we do that, let's understand what is polymorphism. A polymorphism is the ability to change the attributes of a file or a code constantly, which means changing appearance of an object. A polymorphic malware does something similar. It changes, or I'll say constantly changes, its identifiable features in order to prevent detection from intrusion detection systems or antiviruses. Most of the common forms of malwares like viruses, worms, bots, trojans or keyloggers are polymorphic. The polymorphic techniques involve frequently changing identifiable characteristics like file names, types of the file, or encryption keys to make the malware unrecognizable to many detection techniques. Polymorphism technique is used to prevent or evade pattern matching detection relied by security solutions like antivirus softwares. There are certain characteristics of polymorphic malware change and its functional purpose always remains the same. For example, a polymorphic virus will continue to spread and infect devices even if signature changes to avoid detection. By changing characteristics to generate a new signature, signature-based detection solutions will not recognize the file as malicious. Over a period of time, this technique has been used to evade the antivirus detection. 97% of malware infections employ polymorphic techniques. There are certain high-profile examples that we can talk about now. The first one being Storm Warm Email, which was an infamous spam email sent in 2007 with a subject as 230 dead as storm batters Europe. And almost 8% of all global malware infections were responsible at that point in time when the message attachment is open and the malware installs a service and a Trojan onto the recipient's computer, transforming that computer into a bot. The second infamous example is a crypto wall ransomware that encrypts files on the victim's computer and demands a ransom payment for their decryption. There's a threat that is posed by polymorphic malwares and many malware strains now have polymorphic capabilities. It is paramount that we also discuss about the best practices for protecting against polymorphic malware. Most important thing is to keep your software up to date. Do not click suspicious links or attachments. Needless to say, we must be using strong passwords and change them regularly. Always leverage behavior-based detection tools because polymorphic malware is engineered to evade detection by traditional antivirus tools. And the, that's the best solution for this kind of threat, which is using advanced behavior techniques or behavior-based detection techniques to, to detect the polymorphic malware. 